Striking auto workers formed pre-dawn picket lines outside General Motors plants from Texas to Wisconsin on Monday. Midnight marked the start of the United Auto Workers' first nationwide strike in 12 years after the union said negotiations with GM had hit an impasse. Terry Valenzuela is the president of a UAW local picketing in Arlington. We made a lot of concessions when uh, General Motors went through bankruptcy and uh, we are in here every day uh, working long hours and help turn this company around back to making record profits. The UAW wants to stop GM from closing a factory in Lordstown, Ohio, and an assembly plant in Detroit. GM argues the plant shutdowns are necessary responses to market shifts. The company says that UAW wages and benefits are expensive compared with non-union auto plants in southern U.S. states. The labor dispute quickly drew political attention. Donald Trump on Sunday urged both sides to, quote, get together and make a deal. Democratic presidential primary candidates, including Bernie Sanders, former Vice President Joe Biden, and Senator Kamala Harris all said they supported the striking auto workers. A strike could quickly shut down GM's operations across North America and hurt the broader U.S. economy. A prolonged stoppage could also prove painful for GM workers, who will have to make due on strike pay of about $250 per week. Talks between the union and America's number one car maker resumed Monday.